Once he keep this, he will keep that. Wama would do also whatever task that has been assigned to them, they carry out their duties judiciously. These are things have been recorded by one Muslim in number 1,827 on the authority of Abdullah Ibn Amri. Lord, we have no command and rule. I therefore call upon my Muslim brother and my Muslim sister to note it down that this woman of the Muslims has been designed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be moderate among all nations of the world. Therefore, this woman should remain just because according to verse 42 of Surah Al-Mahida, Allah says, Inna Allah yuhibbul musadeen. Allah surely loves those that deem justly. It is because of this that the position of justice in all of its ramifications in the religion of Islam is very great. And so the reward Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives out to anybody that is just in whatever he does is very big. You all know that in our religion, every member of the larger society is considered a shepherd who has been charged with fairness in all of these things. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to hold him accountable for the responsibilities that are entrusted to him. Justice means objectivity in what we do. Evenness in all affairs. Therefore, O servants of Allah, do not forget that great hadith of Prophet Muhammad that Allah you people listen well to what I am telling you. Each and every one of you is a shepherd in his own status. And each and every one of you will be held answerable, accountable for whatever that is under his care. That is why an Amir, the leader, the president, the chairman, the manager, who is any, any group of people is a shepherd. And he is accountable for those under is here. Wa rajul ra'in ala ahli baytihi Ibn The married man is a shepherd upon the people of his house wa huwa masfulun an hum and he will be held responsible answerable, accountable for them just as the married lady is a shepherd who will have to care about the house of her husband and the children of her husband. A woman should not only care for her own children from that husband. The children from the co-wives should also be careful. Why he must pull out an animal? Because he will be held 
accountable for all of them. When I put the royal in either a man is a hitting he even and house help and house help is also considered a shepherd to take care of the property of his boss, the one that employed him. Wahuba must fool on Anhu and Almighty Allah is going to hold him responsible for how has he been caring for the property of his boss. Allah, listen well. Fakulukum Rawai, each and every one of you is a shepherd in his own place. Fakulukum Mosul and Rawai, and each and every one of you is going to be held accountable for whatever that is under his care. Barakallah, the Wadakum, the Hadi Kitabi, was the Sunnah of Rasulullah, Faranana Jamian, Allah was doing the Hadi. حتى نلقاهم فهو تعالى رب العالمين هو الرب وحده وصلواته وسلامه تعالى على الحبيب محمد الذي لا يوجد بعده نبي فقط يقومني بريس is always due to Allah because he is the Lord of the universe he is the only Lord he is the Lord hello May he continue to shower his benediction and peace upon our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. After whom no Prophet will be born into this world. My Muslim brothers and sisters, I enjoy on you and on myself to permanently fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in whatever we do. We should be very candid in having keen interest in whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put under our care. Anyone that has agreed to undertake any affairs of the society, the community, the nation, should be bent on justice. It has to be just among its objects. Those who installed him and elected him to that position to preside over them to cheer their affairs so that they can live safe and secure not always in fear and insecurity this is a trust and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has already said in Surah al Nisa, Quran chapter 4 in verse 58 I quote how to blame the shaitan and Raji? In Allah, I am Rukunan to Abdullah Manati Hilah. Surely Allah commands you to render trust to those to whom the trust are due. وَإِذَا حَكَمْتُمْ بَيْنَ النَّاسِ And that whenever you judge among people أَيَتَحْكُمُ بِالْعَدِلُ That you should judge with justice إِنَّ اللَّهَ لِعِمَّا يَعِدُكُمْ بِهِ 
because excellent is the teaching with which Allah instructs you in Islam. Inna Allah kana samiyan basira Surely Allah is ever hearing, ever seeing what you do. You cannot hide away from Him. You see, when Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in an hadith agreed upon by both Imam Bukhari in number 660 and Muslim in number 1031 on the authority of Abu Huraira Rabbi Allah Ta'ala there is going to be seven people. You then know whom Allah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to give them shade under his throne. For you see uh, then the shadow of that throne will give them shade by the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Yawmala dhikna illa dhikru On the day that there will be no shelter for anybody except the protection of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala He now mentioned al-imam al-adil in just leader as number one The just leader is number one among those seven people. <laughs> Prophet Muhammad sallallahu put in the lead of those seven acts anyone that is presiding over a people and always display justice among them. He acts justly, fairly, impartially. in the maintenance of their rights and in caring for their general welfare not to care for the welfare of also and ignore some others as the professor of the was mentioned to seven this does not mean that they are the only ones that will deserve that grace on the resurrection day. But I, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned the seven because of their merit. You know, all of us can never be president, all of us can never be chairman, all of us can never be head, someone will be head, and that one that is being made head will have prevailing over the others. So, his position is fragile, just as his position is meritorious. Otherwise, justice is binding on the people in the corridor of power, as well as it is binding as a duty on every other service providers. The employees, such as the court judges, the stakeholders, that is, uh, professors, tutors, lecturers, teachers in the learning institutions, and even the army, the uniformed people, as well as the traders in the market. Even the workers and the hired laborers are not left out of justice. If you are a businessman, you are not left out. You have to be just. You parents, fathers, mothers, all of you, have to be just 
in what you are doing. Look, even the couple, husband and wife, should be just to one another. Look at the case of the man, the married man. When that has one over the other, out of his kindness and mercy, a loud man to marry if he is able, up to four, that is marry more than a woman. He then says in Surah Al-Nisa, verse 3, فَإِنْ خِفْتُمْ أَلَّا تَعَدِلُوا فَوَاهِدًا If you fear that you may not be able to be just among them, فَوَاهِدًا Just marry one wife. Because on the judgment day, if the husband is not just among his wives, he will be punished. He will be resurrected, crook, bending, bending like this. So that is why you have to be very, very careful. And if we are to go into details of this, the speech and this sermon will be true for both. But we think that what we have said should be enough. Because a silent reminder will always surprise an intelligent person. Anyone that therefore wants Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to honor him with a shelter under his throne on the resurrection day should try to be just fear. A passion among people without ever straying away to his personal passion, personal interest, far away from the path of probity. I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala should protect you and I against the evils of our own self. Let's forget to say for the Lord, you are so good. May the Lord continue to shower his benediction and peace upon the prophet, his wives, his children, and may Allah be pleased with the companions and we turn together with him. Allah, my Lord, and I ask you to give us the name of the Lord, and the name of the Lord, and the name of the Lord. واسه لنا دنيانا التي فيها معاشنا واسه لنا آخرتنا التي إليها معادنا يا رب العالمين Every two months did like this We remind you to take Salah Sita Shushmikoy In the name of Allah, Yaha Murminati That Allah commands justice What is sad and doing good to people Where he tied the kurba he also commands that you should be helping your relatives, not that you are here in Abuja, your parents, your other siblings, people who have wives or children else here, they suffer. And you are living good here in Abuja. No. Because the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forbids any obscene behavior. Wali munkari, any unacknowledged conduct. Wali bagay, transgression. You don't want people to wrong you, don't wrong them. Ya idhukum. When Allah acknowledges you, it is to benefit you, not to benefit himself. Allah created you to benefit you. And if you fail to adhere, to his teachings, who will be the one to suffer. The Allah is the Quran. It is when you abide by the teachings of your religion that you will remain mindful of why Allah created you. Because those, those that Allah did not create, it does not reduce anything from the majesty of Allah.
This means that your own creation is not increasing anything in the majesty of Allah. You are making Allah and every one time to always remind, remember Him and to abide by the great petitions of this religion so that we will be prosperous. Amen. 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 Rise up.